And I'll continue this silly. I should put the so we're getting about 10 mil plus right here. This is not just really pushing that, but uh, we'll do 10 and then we'll see what we'll get in. So they're probably filling at about 9.8 uh, ml per stroke, not uh, actually 10, but the, again, it's this machine. Yeah, I've opened it up again and it still says 10, but you can try 10 again. You can see how fast that was as well. It's pumping it faster than one stroke per second, so that's excellent. Um, it's hard to really check the temperature of this product, but it, because it's clear, and it doesn't necessarily work. But it's in about the 67. There's not a, a whole lot of uh, melting point of this product. It, I understand it correctly. Uh, so it works fantastic. And I'm um, not sure what I can use to clean this product out of this, but what I'm just going to do is take the product, the hose out of the container, and then start um, pumping this out. And then these valves are very easy to uh, open and clean out. The hoses I can just remove and blow it out. Or this is an industrial product. You can just take the hoses and, and put them right into a bath of the same product and clean them out. But this hose will be ready to go for the next use. And it just pops out of this uh, quick connect. And I got a quick connect on the input as well. And you can see the hose is still nice and pretty clean. It be ready to be used again, um, given it's an industrial product. And that's about it. Now, the rest of this I can just, uh, I'll just take this apart and these come off really easily. And the input and output are exactly the same. It's just that the poppet inside, the poppet valve, is reversed. So I'm going to unplug this heater, which seems to work really well. It's just a regular one kind of tight. Um, this will come apart in five seconds and uh, then the parts can be washed um, and be ready to use again. So there's the valve. There's the product, there's still some in there. It's nice and hot, so you know, this is all really nice and clean. You can wipe it down with a paper towel and be ready to go again. What I would do as well is take the machine and uh, once you remove the bottom, everything will fall out of it. But if you don't want that surprise every time, just turn it sideways and pour out all the excess prior to doing a full cleaning. And now I can take this one out. It's exactly the same. It's just the poppet valve on the input 
you know, um, is this way. So on the bottom valve right now, it's this way so that the poppet valve can move out of the way when it's pushing product in. And on the output, uh, you would have it facing down so that the product can push this way and make its way out. Um, and it's that simple.